This is Leon Flamholtz. He's an independent filmmaker. He went to film school in Sweden in 1974 and has been making films ever since. Now he's sticking them all up online for you to see, along with this little film, which gives you a bit of context as to who he is and why he does what he does. Here he is with a message for you. Hello, uh, I'm Leon Flamholtz. One thing which I'm really interested in is to get into closer touch with you that you that are watching stuff here on, on the Carrion Tube. So if you have any comments, any questions, anything you'd like to debate or question, please do so and uh, I'll be happy to answer. Hope you enjoy. The documentary experience is extremely stimulating. I mean, it's difficult to, to explain to people who, who haven't made documentaries how stimulating that is. For me, it was always like an organic process that I would find something that interested me. I found something fascinating, even if it was controversial. It's so interesting that you see how life has a tendency, when you, when you just hit it the right way while you're filming, while you're talking, things happen that you could never have planned, that you could never have expected. And that, those instances are so, so extremely stimulating that, that you never feel like dropping documentaries. <laughs> series was about delinquent youth. It was about people who broke the law, right? And uh, some of them felt bad about it, some of them felt good about it, they felt it natural or not, doesn't matter. The important thing to me was that I found that the, the controversy and the, in the, the, the sort of inspir inspirational part of their character contra the fact that they were actually doing something negative, sort of showed me that this is so interesting because it's sort of a, like, a, like a blueprint or like a reflection of what really does happen both in a person's mind and in society, you know, that, that you see that something which, which actually is bad according to the, the moral can actually be good on a creative level. So somebody can, can be a fantastic thief and, uh, and uh, of course, everybody who has property uh, will hate him, you know. <laughs> but, you know, when it comes down to, to, the, to the bottom line is that, you know, if, if something has been done in a really clever way, you have to give it to them. <laughs> you have to say that, damn it, they did that really well. So I took some of their money and went off to Israel and made a documentary with a bunch of young delinquent Israelis. They're extremely charming, they're extremely musical, physical, run around, jump, sing, play, you know, light fires. I met a, an interesting character who was a, a social worker, a sort of a youth social worker, and he, he felt, he was very identified with Zionism, with the idea of Israel, he really believed in Israel, and he uh, wanted to show them. This was just when negotiations were going on with Egypt about giving up sections of, of the Sinai that the Israelis had captured. So um, uh, now they were just about to give back big sections of that for a peace treaty. 
But uh, this youth leader, he wanted to show these kids who, who really were politically sort of illiterate. They didn't know what the hell was happening in the country. They knew that the, the Arabs wanted to beat them and they were going to shout them up there. <laughs> there behind. Basically, that was their language. But apart from that, they didn't have a clue. And, and this youth leader said that, look, I'm, I want to show they haven't been anywhere. They've just been sitting in this Tel Aviv suburb. Uh, you know, shoplifting and, <laughs> and drinking and fighting. And, uh, and I want to show them the actual territories that we're going to ba give back. So he arranged this bus tour. And of course, that's a beautiful framework for a story. So, so we're on this bus tour through the Sinai with these kids, uh, having camps, lighting fires, meeting Bedouins, you know, fighting in the bus, <laughs> singing on the evenings. You know. Or everything happening, while while everybody's story is sort of told in voiceovers and interviews, and and I show bits and pieces of their of of their fragments of life, and and I managed to cut that together, and I showed that to to my friends at the Swedish television, the cultural department of of the national Swedish television, and they uh, they liked it, and they uh, agreed to another three. And then we would see if we could continue making it a longer series.